Good day, everybody. Sebastian here with another Watch Our Runs video. So in this one, we're going to continue to discuss the exclusive gear. In the first uh, video that I did on this, we discussed the gear that was rolling out and what the special effect was, especially for the exclusive, not only for the faction specific, but for the hero specific. So if you want to hear more about that, I invite you to go watch that video because that's exactly what we cover here is this exclusive effects that this gear is going to often now in this video here what i'm going to do is i'm going to actually talk to you about the substats and where is the rng actually going to fall when it comes to forging these exclusive pieces because as some of you have said you kind of are hoping that the effect matches the substats that the exclusive gear is uh, actually providing us it's been in terms of a, the, the special effects so you we're hoping that some of the substats do match so we're not just so dependent on the rng to get a good piece so here i am in the test server i got a chance to look at all of them i got a chance to forge some just to make sure that it carried over as we were forging it and i'm going to tell you which p uh which substats are fixed for each one of these pieces and where the rng is relying not only that stay tuned we're gonna have the drawing for the giveaway that we had uh posted in that first video So do remember that in the last video we kind of covered what the special effects were for each one of these faction exclusive along with the hero exclusive so just really quick the watch guards exclusive you can see the effects on the right hand side of your screen is that they get increased damage dealt to get healing effect as well it all depends on who exactly is going to be putting the wing of grace ring or the cataclysm ring so sorry, this is actually where you're going to play around there that's why you have the dual one there the northern throne exclusive is essentially you're going to get 10 percent max hp that's just the when you deployed and the course code explosive is you're going to get increased damage anytime you cc the enemies slow stun freeze immune uh, immobilized anything in the, under that umbrella and you're going to get uh, 10 percent more damage out of that now most most of the exclusives are in the new gear which are wings of grace this one just gives us inspiration to the highest attack ally or the attack that has the the ally that has the highest attack the cataclysm is just going to be extra damage when you're doing crit hit it can stack up to 45 percent the temper will is already one that we already had in the game this is just the one that takes damage reduction so they decided to make one of these an exclusive we already went over the cataclysm and then hell hell slamming is just extra damage when you do your ultimate that's essentially what this R for T3s and the Cataclysm is the new one, of course, which is just a spiced up version of the Night Terror. Now, here, let's talk about the subsets for each one of these because you are all, some of you, at least from what you have uh, put in the comments, are making, you just want to make sure that you get stats to match the effects, and that's what you're really worried about. So let's talk about some of these here. So for the Watchward Ring here in the Wings of Grace, what we're going to get, and see, this is something that I've been noticing, is the main stat is going to be the same. I have not seen anything else different in the test server. And again, please do keep in mind this is the test server, but at least from the pieces that I was provided and the ones that I have been able to forge and I've noticed, the main stat stays the same. It's not changing. And the other thing that really plays a big factor into this is that the top two substats do not change. Every piece that I've seen, the top two substats are not changing. So the RNG comes down to the two substats on the bottom of the gear piece. That is where you're going to be looking for the stats that you want. Okay, so for something like this, I said defense bonus, HP bonus, I will take it, right? Because we do want to make sure that our, um, our, our, our healer here or anybody that we decide to put this on is going to get um, a little bit of survivability. There are other stats that you can play around with if you want, but these are the two that I thought would match perfectly with a piece like this. So that's kind of what you can look forward to. When it comes to the ring uh, in the Cataclysm or the Watch Guard, again, the top sub, uh, the main stats, attack bonus, the top two, uh, the top two subsets here, which are fixed, are crit rate, crit damage, 
And if you get lucky and you get subsets with great region and attack speed, you will have a nice piece that you can then put on your damage dealer. So this here, um, Lucius and Ingrid, I mean, something like that, if you can match the set, that will work very, very well for that. So that's kind of the piece that you want to look for if you do get a chance to forge this. Okay, let's go over the northern, the northern uh, Tron. When it comes to the Temper Weld HP bonus, that's that's essentially what we want, right? Exactly. We want to do damage reduction. We're going to take HP bonus now. Whether you see it as a plus or a minus, um, I, I I see the benefit. But the top stat here, flat HP, and then defense bonus are going to be the ones that are fixed, okay? And then the RNG comes down here to the bottom too. So if you want to make sure that you get your shields up a quicker, rage region. If you want to make sure that your hero is doing a little bit more damage or is trying to rev up her uh, rage regeneration by using the basic attack, then you do attack speed if you want. So that's essentially what you're going to be looking for in this type of piece here the the uh the cataclysm phase again attack bonus is the main stat crit rate crit damage are going to be the fixed ones and you are looking for something like this attack speed rage region on the bottom so they are going to entice you to try to match a set so and not only that of course if you're going to match a set then that's where the more the the big part of the rng is going to come into play to try to get those two other pieces so you can put a set together but we know that at least when we get a piece like this that we know at least we can count on two of the subsets to already be fixed when we roll it okay so let's continue with the curse cult so the curse calls hell's lament the ring it's not going to be attack bonus, it's going to be critical damage. And then the top two uh, subsets that are fixed are attack bonus and crit rate. So then the bottom two are where the RNG comes in. So you want something like attack speed rate region, just like I did here in this piece. And the, the, other, the other curse called uh, ring, which is the cataclysm. Now that is going to be attack bonus, crit rate, crit damage is the fixed uh, substats and then rage region attack speed is what you're going to want to be looking for with these two pieces but of course you're going to get the, the variability coming in you're going to get flat hp flight defense so all of that i'm just saying that the top two substats here on the bottom that you're going to be looking for are these two rage region and attack speed so if you get a piece like this it's got you keep it even if it rolls poorly you keep it because you can throw a hammer on it and you just gotta hope that it rolls again just as perfectly remember most of the pieces that i'm playing around with here are not ancient they're just mythic so we're going to be able to use our hammers and our uh refining crystals for this um and and, and try to make sure that we can improve on 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 the lucky rolls the, or the lucky um rng that we are able to get all right everybody this is the part of the video where we're going to be doing the drawing remember there were two thousand diamonds at play 200 each for 10 players so that's exactly what i'm going to do we're going to select 10 comments here hopefully you guys typed the keyword here is the link to the video and we're going to do keyword filter and we're going to tell it that the word was exclusive there we go and we're not uh we're not going to include replies we're not going to allow duplicates and now it's going to load the comments like 52 comments are eligible for the drawing. Thank you very much for watching the video and um, good luck. And let's start picking out the winners. And at the same time, I'm going to try to make sure that I annotate them so we can forward this to the developers. Here we go then. Uh, the first one, just to see Panda Ward. So exactly what he did. And we're going to copy paste that. And we're going to put it right there. All right. So congratulations, Justice. You're going to get uh, 200 diamonds. Uh, let's go on to the next. Let's see here. We're going to go on to the next. Ryan Alt. Uh, exclusive. All right. Perfect. And we're going to annotate that. And we're going to send that to the list. All right. Let's keep going. Uh, Heinz, Heinz, 19946. Looking forward to the next exclusive champs. 
didn't think he meant exclusive gear, but we we are definitely looking forward to see what else comes out of all of this. Okay, here we go. We go for number four, Moisey I-96 Ion, uh, the exclusive there. Perfect, thank you for your account number. We will forward that to the developers. And thanks, Sebastian. Great video. I'm already uh, starting farming those uh, forging items. Yeah, you're, we're going to need them. Uh, make sure you get your gear dungeons in. Uh, make sure you save your mats for when the, the rollout finally comes in. Ben Place 23. Looking forward for the global release. Hopefully it is soon, my friend. We all are expecting it in global soon. That was number five. All right, let's go to number six. And to enable, all right, thank you very much. Thank you for tuning in the video and watching. We will list that. So one, two, three, six. All right, we got four more to give. Uh, Tidarius, okay, exclusive, 45. All right, let me copy that, and we're going to send that in. Keep up the great work, Sebastian. No, thank you. Thank you for tuning in and watching. All right, let's go. Arturo's War, okay. Um. Pretty sure I forgot to cover the exclusive Nordin or the WG episode. Yes, you did, my friend, but you know what? You get 200 diamonds, so we'll put that there. Congratulations. Uh, let's see. Three, six, eight. Okay, we got two more. We got two more here. Philip uh, Hadwin. Philip Hadwin, okay? Uh, exclusive video. Thank you very much. We will forward your number to the developers. Let's make sure that I'm doing this correctly. I have nine. So we are to the last one. And the final winner of the diamonds is Colossus the Great. And keep, keep up the great content. No, thank you for watching. That's why this works. Because you guys are watching the video. So I have three six nine ten those were the ten there congratulations okay here we go uh here we go all right so what i'm gonna do is we're gonna refresh the page you can see that now everything is off all right here we go and we're gonna do fetch anything goes nothing in replies exclusive all right, so this one here, and it should be 52 again. All right, so this one here is the one off. 1,999 gold go to the winner of this drawing here. Everybody's back in the pool. What I'll do is I'm going to pick that coming out. I'm going to record her. I'm going to reply to it. I'm going to tell you that you are the winner. And then what I'm going to do after the video is published, give me give me a little bit, but after the video is published, I am going to carry on the transaction. And please let me know if you do get it. And if you you see it, just let me know. And But at the same time, I'll keep the receipts just in case something gets lost in transit. So here we go. The winner of the 1,999 W gold is... Jose Francis Joseph Francisco 688. He only typed exclusive, but that's exactly what we required out of that. So I am going to annotate his name and his account number. And we will send them 1,999 gold for watching the video and following the instructions as they were stipulated. This, it seems to be a brand new player. This account is, it has, uh, yeah. So congratulations, my friend. You got the gold. We'll work all this out. And hopefully you gave me the right account number and information. All right. Let's keep going for the rest of the video. All right, let's go over to the hero specific ones. Hell, uh, the Hell's Lament here for Salazar. Again, attack bonus is going to be the main stat. Crit damage and attack speed are the fixed. Now you got to hope to pick crit rate on the bottom. That's exactly what you're going to be looking for for a piece like that. And hopefully you can get a nice set. Uh, build upon 
In, uh, by the way, that is what I'm going to try to be doing here in the test server. I'm going to try to get complete sets so then I can test them out and see if it's worth going after a particular set for each one of these heroes. Abominations, well, now remember, Abomination is going to be in the Astral Guardian set. So it's going to be extra HP and extra defense. Now, the special effect here is that you get an increase in attack uh, by 10% from the basic attacks. Then you're going to get triggered and get more damage out of it. So you are actually, for Abomination, something like this works perfectly because we can then build them as a hybrid, right? We need to, if we want to, we can give them some... Uh, uh, like a glacier said, we can tank him up and then he does some damage. There's no question in that. And he can take care of things like uh, when we see it in the global server, AMR 19 and 21, he'll be able to take care of the, uh, the, the lackeys that are coming at you. And then gear dungeon too, if you do not, if you cannot get, um, get rid of the psycho fans at the spawn point, they come down on the gear uh, on, the, on, the, on the left hand lane. He actually works very well there. That's how I'm using him for gear dungeon two. So you can see here, HP bonus, defense bonus are the top two. They're the fixed ones, which match the set, right? HP defense boost. And then you're just hoping to pick whatever, whatever the subset that you want to form a perfect build for abomination. So if you're going damage, you probably want attack bonus and crit rate. But if you're going tanky, you want to make sure that he... Uh, that you can get some speed rate region. That's what sounds like what you're going to be looking for here. You build the damage stats on the on the left on the right hand side. That's essentially what you're going to do, be looking for. So this this exclusive for him it actually affords you possibilities on what type of build you want to go for. You want to go for a tankier. You want to go damage type, or you want to do a hybrid. So that's what you're going to be looking at. Torador. Now, Tor is a tank, and it's a defender, so we do essentially want him HP defense-based. So that's the fixed stats there. Now we're going to be looking for rage, region, and attack speed on him. If you want to attack bonus, it can do a little bit damage. That's what you can go for. So definitely, you're going to have options here with him as well in this Astral Guardian set. All right, now let's go to Valkyra. Valkyra is a weapon, so you're going to get crit rate and attack speed already, and then now you're going to be looking for attack bonus. That's essentially what you're going to need to, to get this. The god tier piece is going to be attack bonus and crit damage, as you see here. This is exactly, this is going to be the piece that you want to get, and then try to use your hammers to make it perfect in your refining crystals, if in fact that's boost her damage, because remember, she is going to build 1%. Uh, attack every time so that she uses a sword of victory so that's that could be potentially a lot of attack depending on how long the battle lasts constant here her exclusive is going to be in the lights grace essentially her healing multiplier is boosted so attack bonus and healing effect are the two that are fixed and hp bonus and attack speed is what i'm going to be looking for in these pieces just to complement her build Silas is Bengal. He's in the Hell's Lament. Fortunately, it's attack. Unfortunately, I would say it's an attack bonus piece. So I guess we're going to get crit damage from the other pieces. Essentially, what it's going to come down to. But at least the substat, the crit damage substat here is fixed. So we're going to get crit damage from this piece at all times and crit rate. So I guess on the bottom two, we're looking for attack speed and rate region. Perfect. Okay, Helga. Helga's amulet is actually attack speed. Which is fine. We want to take advantage of our uh, exclusive or for uh, uh, specialist attack speed. So that's the, exactly the type of amulet that I want to look for her. Attack bonus and crit rate are the fixed ones. And then the bottom two, you can look for whatever you want. So if you want rage region, you go for it. If you want to make sure she does a little more damage, crit damage is exactly what you're going to be looking for. So remember, she'll get an additional 30 piece if you equip this on her. And she, her uh, quills will get an increased damage by 30%. So it, 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 she's not going to do like intense amount of damage, but at least it'll allow you the, uh, afford you the ability to get a little bit more damage out of her. At the same time, you're going to get 250 speed out of this piece. Not bad. Okay, Sertram. Uh, with his weapon, again, he's in the Wicked Vengeance. Uh, he does more damage 
right to the shield, so 20%. And in his overload estate, gets another 10% penetration. Very, very good piece for him. Crit rate attack speed are going to be the fixed ones. And then, of course, on the bottom, we're going to be looking for attack bonus, rage regen, crit damage. Exactly what we want out of a damage piece, okay? So that's essentially kind of the example here that I can give you what I was looking for for a piece to test in Setrum like this. The last two, Bjarnas Bango. So Bjarnas is going to be very good because not only does it get an increased damage by 100% her Reaper's Grasp, but her Execution Threshold now increases by an additional 10%. So if you're already skilled her and you're at 35%, now you're at 45%. So you, it won't take much for her to get rid of her enemies. Now, her exclusive attack bonus is going to be the main stat. Crit rate, crit damage are going to be the subsets that are fixed. So, of course, in my example here, what I'm looking for on the bottom to be a rage region and attack flat attack. Remember, she does not need attack speed. Conversely, though, Morgan, same thing is attack bonus. Crit rate, crit damage are the ones that are fixed. But what am I looking for her? Yes, I am going to be looking for attack speed and rage regen on her. If I get rage regen and attack, sure, I'll use it. But it, with Morrigan, we do need attack speed. Now, remember that she gets a little bit of a reduced effect, uh, a re a reduced activation time of 20 seconds in her effect, and she will deal more damage if you're able to get a piece like this onto her. So this is exactly what I'm looking forward to, is trying to see if the piece itself will lead to more damage. Can we sacrifice like a soul on our kind of set to put this one piece on her and then see if it can actually, um, the effect can supplant what we get from a T2 set. Is essentially what I'm looking for. And at the same time, hopefully, I can forge enough pieces and I get locked out to be able to form one good set for each one of these exclusive pieces. Thank you all very much for tuning in and watching. Congratulations to the winners. I will contact them. Uh, or for those of you with the diamonds, I will forward your information to the, uh, to the community manager. And for the winner of the W Gold, I will contact you, make sure that you get it. All right. Until next time, thank you for your support. We will see you around.